So if Allah is telling you Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, right at the beginning of the Quran, the second verse, the second verse, the first one says Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah who's Lord of the worlds. But guess who He is? He is Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. He is the most beneficent, the most merciful. And you know who else He is? He is the owner of the day of judgment. He will judge me, not you. And not that guy and not those people and not the comments online and nothing else. It's Allah who will judge me. Hence, he says, Maliki Yawmiddin. He is the owner of the day when judgment shall be happening. Allahu Akbar. Don't be let down. Don't be let down by what people say. Their judgmental statements mean nothing. And that's why immediately after that we say, you alone we worship, you alone we seek help from. And then we make the first supplication, guide us to the straight path. Guide us to what? To the straight path. So keep calling out to Allah, Oh Allah, guide me to the straight path. Oh Allah, strengthen me to do the right thing. Even if you are weak, even if you have bad habits, even if you are addicted to something that's unacceptable in the eyes of Allah, as you're working to quit it and to leave it, keep asking Allah, Oh Allah, guide me, strengthen me, protect me. Even if you're, you just did haram, say, Oh Allah, protect me from this haram. Oh Allah, take me out of it. Keep repeating it and keep trying. A day will come. You'll never regret. You'll never regret. Trust me, you won't regret it. Have good company, have good friends and inshallah, see what happens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is indeed most forgiving, most merciful. So this the message this evening. It's exactly half an hour since I started. The message this evening is about two things. Number one, work on your prayer. You won't go wrong. You know what? It's ultimate success. Tell yourself every time you're being lazy, Allah is greater than whatever I'm busy with right now. Stop it and go and pray. Even if you start with farad, that's which compulsory initially. And then you can work on a little bit more later. But don't give up. Build. If you are doing three out of five, go on to four, go on to five, inshallah. If you're weak, start somewhere. But pray. I promise you, it will change your life. Your problems will be diminished. I'm not saying they will be solved, but they'll become small. You actually tell yourself, I can't believe I used to consider this a problem. It's not even a problem. Subhanallah. And the second thing, the second thing, Keep calling out to Allah. Keep asking Him. Don't be tired of asking Allah. Allah loves it when you repeat and repeat. And keep going. Even if it took 10 years, I promise you, it's coming. Success and victory ultimately is all yours for as long as you have Allah by your side. May Allah make it easy for every one of us, every one of you. May Allah Almighty grant every one of us goodness and open the doors of ease for those who are struggling with any difficulty across the globe. And inshallah, I pray 